And hi friends, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to Eco Designs to Fit YouTube channel. I am Chiwendo. In case you are stumbling upon my channel for the very first time, you are welcome. If you have been a returning viewer, you are also welcome. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how to make a crop jacket. It is very simple and if this is what you are interested in learning, stay tuned until the end of this tutorial. I have my lining over there. This is the Ankara print I'm going to be using. I have my marker, my scissors, and my tailoring chalk, and then my pattern master. Okay, so first of all, you guys, I'm going to draft it out on a pattern. So here is my brand pattern paper. What I want to do first is to draw horizontally my baseline. So you all know, if you have been following my tutorial, I like to have my starting line first. So from this starting line, go ahead and place your tape vertically just as you can see me do. And then you mark out the bust point. So for this client, her bust point is 11 inches. And then the length of the jacket, which is the waistline, I'm going to use 16 inches. Okay. So the length is immediately after the under bust point okay so that's why you can see that i have 16 inches right here now go over to the starting line again and then divide your shoulder measurement into two equal halves so whatever you have right there go ahead and mark it so for this client her shoulder is 15 inches i added half an inch for sewing allowance now from this shoulder go down by one inch which is shoulder slope and then from this one inch shoulder slope you are going to go down by eight inches and that automatically becomes the chest line okay now to get this chest line you are going to have to divide your bust circumference by six and then add 1.5 inches or from the bust point line you can simply come up by two inches so now that we have this i'm going to go ahead and connect the shoulder slope into the chest line and that automatically becomes the armhole depth okay now you guys we are going to be cutting out on this same pattern paper the front and the back so what i want to do now is to mark out my front neck width and the depth so for the front neck width i'm going to use four inches and for the depth i'm going to use four inches as well now for the back width i'm going to use four inches and then for the back depth i'm going to use 1.5 inches so i'm going to go ahead and connect this line and you guys if you notice i don't have anything like zipper allowance right here because this is a jacket we don't need zipper allowance the jacket is going to be open right at the front so once you are done with this go ahead and connect your shoulder slope into the neck width can you see and then this your armhole depth you're going to have to divide it into two whatever you have go ahead and mark it out and then go in by half an inch now once you are done with that go over to the bust point line and then what you need to do is to divide your bust circumference by four mark it out and then add one inch for ease and then one inch for sewing allowance repeat the same thing on the bust point line okay so the first one i did was the chest line and then repeat the same thing for the bust point okay now go over to the waistline divide your waist circumference by four mark it out i'll be adding 1.5 inches for the darts and then one inch for ease allowance and one inch for sewing allowance i hope you guys understand me i just hope what i'm explaining makes sense because i believe it makes sense okay now once you are done go ahead and connect all your lines you can see i've connected my side line and then connecting my armhole right now now after you are done with this you're going to go over to the bust point line and then right from the center front you're going to right from the folded parts although we are making use of a single paper 
I'm going to go ahead and divide the nipple to nipple measurement by four. After you divide it, add up half an inch and then mark it on the bust point line and the waistline, just as you can see me do, and then connect the line, okay? Now, once you are done, go ahead and take in your darts. So, I use 1.5 inches, right? I'm going to share it equally on both sides. So, I'm going to mark out three quarter of an inch on both sides. And then, connect it into the bust points. Okay? So, you can see what I am doing. So, guys, I'm going to connect my dart legs. And then once I am done with this, you guys, you can see this is our front and back block at the same time. So go over to the shoulder line right now and then add half an inch for shoulder sewing allowance. Once I am done with this, I'm going to ensure that I connect that shoulder line into the neck and the armhole. And then, next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and cut it out. So, when you want to cut, you're going to first of all cut from the back. So, you can see that it's tied from the back neck depth. And then, you're going to go ahead and cut just like this. You can see what i have right here so you guys as it is right now we have our pattern ready so going down to the waistline i'm going to add half an inch below it so this half an inch is going to be my sewing allowance all right so guys you can see what we have now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my lining and then my actual fabric and then cut this out on the both of them. Okay. Now I'm done cutting it out. Here is my lining and my actual piece together. This is for both the back and front. And you can see I've gone ahead to mark out my darts. Okay, so for the front dart, the front dart is on the bust point line, but then for the back is one inch below the chest line. Okay, so I went ahead to mark this out on the lining and the actual piece as well. Now for the front um, pieces, I'm going to go ahead and open up the center fronts, just as you can see me doing like this. And now, you guys, um, this is what we have. This is the front piece, you can see. And then, this is the back piece. Okay? So, I also went ahead to cut out my sleeve off camera. Okay? So, I'm going to bring it in here for you guys to see. You can see, this is a basic sleeve block. It is that simple. And the lining is one inch shorter than the actual sleeve. So guys, what I'm going to do right now is to go ahead and join these pieces together. I'm going to bring in the back and the front. And then I'll simply place it right side facing each other and then join. So what we want to do here is inseam finishing, okay? So for you to sew your jacket, you need to make an inseam finishing. You can as well go ahead and put in your stay into this. But for the sake of this tutorial, I didn't do that, okay? So, I've gone ahead to join the side seam of the actual piece and the shoulder. I'll repeat the same thing to the lining. So, like I was saying, you guys, you can actually use your hair stay to interface the, the actual piece. And then use your paper stay, which is the light stay to interface the lining all right so guys once you are done with all of this this is what you should have you can see i've joined the both of them together which is the lining 
and the actual piece i joined this separately both the front and the back okay so this is what this is looking like now next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and turn this out with my lining and to do that i'm going to ensure that the lining and the main fabric is right side facing each other first of all i'm going to match up the neckline so i'm going to make sure that the shoulder of the lining and the actual piece are aligning okay the both shoulders and every other place and i'll go so using half an inch after that i'll go ahead and top stitch and then move over to the hem i'll go ahead and sew using half an inch right at the hem and also top stitch and then use about quarter of an inch to turn the side okay so guys after i was done this is what i have and the only place i'm going to be turning it out from is the armhole area okay so you guys i'm going to turn this over and show you guys what we have so guys while you turn this you're going to ensure that you bring out every other fabric that might be stocked in okay so once we are done with this this is what it should look like go ahead and give this a good press and then bring in your sleeve so this is my sleeve i've gone ahead to sew the dampers which is the hem and then top stitch now what i want to do next is to go ahead and keep it lining to lining and fabric to fabric and so using my seam allowance so what we try doing here is to achieve a neat finishing okay so i'm going to go ahead and turn this over to the good side and then show you guys what i have i'll repeat the same thing to the other sleeve because we have two sleeve right here all right and you guys after we're done this is what we have what i did was to go ahead and top stitch around the armhole area so i'm going to turn this i don't know if you can see this because this is black i'm going to turn it and you can see that we don't have anything like sewing allowance on the inside okay so what i'm going to do next is to go right over to my sewing machine and fix this into the armhole of my jacket now here is my jacket i've ironed it and you can see how beautiful it is i'll go now and fix my sleeve okay and then you guys this is what we have you can see this is our crop top jacket it is very simple and i hope you guys find this video helpful if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you in my next one bye